Hi guys, I welcome you to this session wherein I will be talking about one very important thing that we often miss and these are predicting our own behaviors. What are the mistakes that we often make when we are preparing for government exams? We make a lot of mistakes but these are mistakes that can make or break our entire career and therefore we need to be very very cautious about not making these mistakes. तो समझ लेते हैं कि ऐसी क्या मिस्टेक्स हैं जो हम लोग कर रहे हैं और करते आ रहे हैं बहुत टाइम से एंड वी कीप डूइंग देन कीप कमिटिंग दीज मिस्टेक्स इन द फ्यूचर आल्सो सो दैट वी डोंट हैव टू मेक दीज मिस्टेक्स इन द फ्यूचर वी आर मोर कॉशियस अबाउट आर ओन बिहेवियर सबसे पहले मैं आपको बताना चाहूँगा अबाउट द लाइव क्लासेज दैट हैव बीन लॉन्च फॉर ऑल आर थ्री मेजर कोर्सेज आर बी एस एबी एन अवार्ड one quick uh, word of caution these are only for serious aspirants or who i call achievers these are not for aspirants these are only for achievers so if you feel that you are going to be disciplined enough to attend these classes live because i don't want people to be watching these classes recorded later if you feel that you are disciplined enough uh, to take out time and ask me questions in these live classes only then i would recommend that you enroll for something like this because it is not only going to be demanding for me it is going to be demanding for you as well it becomes very very important that you take it seriously and do not waste your money on courses that you are not going to read if you are going to take a course if you are going to prepare for an exam do it properly otherwise don't do it at all <clears throat> you all know about the application that has been launched which has a lot of features and a lot of information uh, related to your examination make sure that you download the app and use it let us start with the discussion wherein we will be talking about the mistakes that we often make and the mistakes that you cannot afford to make in this coming year number 1 starting late hum log sab late latif hain which is a reality at times we try to be proactive but that is not a norm that is only an exception for majority of us and we have to accept it that's how human nature is we are by our very nature lazy at majority of our times so we want to avoid work what you have to do if you want to be successful in your career if you want to crack competitive exams like rbi or sebi or nabard if you actually want to make it to these institutions then you have to let go of this behavior of being a late latif exactly hota kya hai if you start late that might be coming in your mind ki yaar theek hai kabhi kabhi to karna hi hai na matlab i have to be late latif i have to be laid back at times otherwise how will i enjoy my life i have come here to enjoy it. but there is something that happens if you start late wo exactly kya hota hai it's very very objective in nature koi subjective analysis nahi hai if you start late there is very minimal or no time for revision at all jab aap kuch bhi padhte ho pehli baar to aapko wo 100% yaad nahi rehta hai aap koi novel bhi uthaoge na if you read it let's say once and you read it in one go or two goes or let's say you spend about a week on reading it you would realize that after you have completed it for about the next one week you would stay in that zone you would remember everything that you read but after that you would just remember some snippets that's all you don't remember the entire novel you just remember some small pockets of information why did that happen because we don't revise novels and we shouldn't and we don't have to revise novels however here you are not reading a novel you are reading a course book you are reading for an examination you are reading academic books you are enrolling in a course that is teaching you very comprehensively so what happens there you have to revise but if you start late you're already stuck up in covering the syllabus once and therefore you don't get enough time to revise and revision my friends is the key to success therefore make sure that you start early that you start on time or even before time if you've decided that i want to take this exam start for it okay start preparing for it don't wait for the notification or don't wait for any specific event to happen all those events will keep happening all those things will keep going on the world keeps moving you have to focus on what you want to do in life and just start for it revision automatically brings confidence and confidence automatically brings success 
that brings me to my second point which is very realistic in nature something that we often ignore about our own behavior even i do it all the time and that is over enthusiasm whenever you start with something new you're very enthusiastic about it isn't it it happens all the time with us uh, somebody brought you a cake after a long time you're very enthusiastic very excited about eating it it's been a week and you've not eaten a dessert uh, you just order it and you're so excited about eating it it's been a month you've not read something it's been two months you've not gone out of your uh, city and you want to travel and you start traveling and you're so excited about it so it happens with us all the time we are very ex excited whenever we try to do something new something that we haven't done for a long time but that enthusiasm uh, eventually fades away especially when you're doing something as serious as studies as serious as preparing for competitive exams where you have to study day in and day out so what happens is there is often over enthusiasm when we start we are very excited about it but we fail to realize that this excitement might fade away and might give into something very monotonous something very robotic and especially with studies that happens this is the excitement and belief that we can do it results out soon it is it is there's nothing uh, extraordinary about it but it will happen and it does happen with everything that you do even with your job it does happen it, it does fizzle out after some time we are left with two things in hand after that consistency and discipline and these only these two things can get you across that line which separates aspirants from achievers and achievers to officers i want you not on the left hand side wherein you are left hand side is this where you are being an aspirant but i want you on the right hand side where you are at least becoming an achiever and after you have become an achiever you have created the road for yourself to become an officer now for your information achiever is a serious aspirant a person who takes his job who takes his work who takes his studies very very seriously he is disciplined he is consistent he knows what he is doing he is very clear about his study path as well but if you are over enthusiastic there's nothing wrong about that but you have to realize that this over enthusiasm will fade away and then you will be left with only consistency and discipline if you can have those two things consistency and discipline you will clear the examination if not you will have nothing in your hand only failure after one long year okay i hope that makes sense let me take you to the third one and this is something that we see all the time too many sources we get either too many books we get either too many sources we are reading from one source we have not even completed that and we are thinking what about that source that looks good it it's just a childish behavior that we have with books and sources nowadays uh, you have, have you ever seen a child eating a, a let's say a, an ice cream or a candy and then something more interesting comes along or at least he thinks he, it's more interesting and now he wants that as well something that happens with dogs also you're giving something wo usko jhoota kar dega he'll not eat it completely and then he'll again come back to you for something more okay so this is a very uh, immature behavior that we have but we all of us have it even i have have it uh, at many instances at many times what we have to do is to try and control such behaviors to try and realize that we are entering this territory of immature behavior and we should move out as fast as possible okay and one such behavior is thinking about too many sources now this does not mean that you limit your sources too much you have to find the right balance okay you don't have to limit your sources too much as well which is another problem that a lot of students face maine khud dekha hai ye bahut students ko face karte hue what they do is they would want to buy a book and then but, but then they'll be like will i be able to read it will i be able to use this, use it for my examination will it be good enough uh, is it is it just not popular enough and uh, will i be gaining anything out of it and they think too much and they don't buy it at all and they lose out that important information that the book might have given them it might have converted them from an achiever or an aspirant to an officer so you can you cannot be 
too limited in terms of your sources but at the same time you should not be too anxious about it ki yaar ye padh liya ab ye bhi padh leta hu ye bhi padh leta hu ye bhi padh leta hu panch coachings hain panchon ka material padh leta hu that is not right and that will not help you and that will not take you anywhere theek hai na so you have to limit your sources why because too many sources bring you anxiety and you all know that and i also know that okay but we still keep doing it because we want to have that anxiety in our life it gives us some kind of a kick but aapko realize karna padega that too many sources bring you anxiety now one very important thing here is telegram telegram is for information टेलीग्राम का ऑब्जेक्टिव जब वो स्टार्ट हुआ था तो था सारे स्टूडेंट्स को साथ में लाओ सो दैट दे आर मोर अवेयर अबाउट एवरीथिंग बट व्हाट इट डज नाउ इज होर्डिंग मुनाल सर ने भी ये बहुत बार बोला है एंड आई हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ हिज वीडियोस टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेम थिंग दैट स्टूडेंट विल क्रिएट ऑल दोस फोल्डर्स फैंसी थिंग्स इन देयर लैपटॉप देन दे विल डाउनलोड ऑल दिस मटेरियल दैट दे हैव रिसीव्ड दे विल पुट इट इन दोस फोल्डर्स एंड दे विल फॉरगेट अबाउट देम दे विल नेवर रीड देम एंड देन दे विल पिक अप अ बुक एंड दे स्टार्ट रीडिंग द बुक you might as well had just read, read the book only so what mistake students are making is they're holding a lot of material we have a habit of gathering whatever we can so that we don't feel left out so that if tomorrow there is a discussion on telegram or on some other social media platform and somebody asks you what are the functions of rbi even if you don't know about it and you would not if you are holding a lot of material you can say i will check in that material i have kept that in that material it was written what are the functions of rbi and so you feel you you justify your own behavior we all do that it's not unique to you please understand that so mai aapko daant nahi raha hu i'm just trying to tell you how we as humans behave how we as students behave so we have understood that the mistake that we are making is we are relying on or trying to rely on too many sources which brings us anxiety telegram which is meant for information is taken for holding material aap jo pad rahe ho usko na pad ke jo aapko nahi padna chahiye wo ikhatta kar rahe ho aur usko bhi nahi pad rahe ho jo padna chahiye usko bhi nahi pad rahe ho jo nahi padna chahiye usko to aap pad hi nahi rahe ho you're just holding that so please make sure that you don't make this mistake to hum logo ki kuch mistakes humne pakad li hain नेक्स्ट मिस्टेक पे आते हैं लैक ऑफ रिविजन डेली और वीकली हमें लाइफ में ना कभी नहीं सिखाया नो बडी स्टॉटर्स इन स्कूल इन कॉलेज इन वर्क नो बडी स्टॉटर्स द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ रिविजन बट इफ यू एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू बी एन अचीव इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लियर द एग्जामिनेशन दिस इज अ वेरी सीरियस मैटर आई मस्ट टेल यू यू हैव टू रिवाइज यू हैव टू चेंज योर हैबिट्स एंड यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर रिवाइजिंग डेली और एटलीस्ट वीकली if you are a student then you have to revise daily and if you are not a student you are an you know a working aspirant a working achiever who is working simultaneously at least weekly not beyond that that is the minimum that we have to do i will be talking about a strategy called as active revision very very soon so don't worry about it i will be telling you in detail how do you revise not only that you have to revise but i'll also be telling you how do you revise and in that session i will be talking about active revision so don't worry about that as well just wait for a few days that video will be out soon but let's come back revision we often misunderstand or underrate uh, the importance of revision we think that revision is for losers that's what everybody told us we wanted to be students and therefore in colleges we would start study only for the last one day and uh, that moment before the examination when we're standing outside either we are too anxious and therefore we are just flipping through something or we are uh, you know we put our hands up and we're like i don't revise i don't need to revise mujhe to sab yaad hai the attitude that we have in our mind is that revision is for losers but that is not the reality what is the reality the reality is revision saves you from being a loser make sure that you are on this side and not on the first side that you change your psychology about the importance of revision it does save you from becoming a loser make sure that you use revision as much as possible the more you revise the more num- the more number of times you revise you would see result coming to you faster but if you keep studying something new all the time and you don't revise you will see yourself failing because in the examination ultimately 
there will be some questions that you would know and there will be some questions that you would not know. Your objective is to first of all broaden this space, broaden this base so that you know a lot of questions and you, know only a, you don't know only a small number of questions. And at the same time, make sure that you don't get them wrong. Okay? If it gets wrong, then there is a problem. I hope you get it. Let's move on, not reading about RBI. This video is specific to RBI, but it applies to SEBI and NABAR aspirants also, especially for NABAR aspirants because your exams are coming up. So, if you are in NABAR, then you will apply to NABAR in NABAR. And the same way you will apply to NABAR, I will tell you. So what exactly do we not do? We don't read about our own vision, our own mission, our own objective, our own goal. What is our goal in this case? RBI join or NABAR join or SEBI join? But we don't know anything about these organizations. How do they work? What is their structure? What is their functioning? What do they do? Why do they do it? All these questions are not answered at all in our own minds. Khudi clear nahi hai. So selection leke kya ghanta ho khaar loge. Right? Now, these informations give you actual motivation. Jo humara motivation hota hai na normally salary ka ya phir sarkari naukri ka ya phir still life jine ka. All these are facades. All these are not actual motivations. And once you clear an examination, these will fade away. Aap socho gaya, tab ki tab dekhenge. Ara hoga na hai dimaag mein. You must be thinking, first let me clear, then I'll think about all those things. But it's a very serious issue. I receive a lot of calls from students who have cleared the examination, who are working in RPI, Navad and Seve, and now they call me, sir, what to do now? And I tell them, bhai, this is what you aspired for. You wanted to clear these examinations, you wanted to work in them. Now what? You work properly, जो आप काम करने के लिए गए हो वो करिए, सर मजा नहीं आ रहा है उसमें, kick नहीं आ रहा है। I'm not finding the right kick, I'm not enjoying my work. I said, didn't you know what exactly are you getting into? I said no, I just wanted a सरकारी नौकरी, I just wanted to enjoy my life, but I don't know now how do I enjoy my life because I cannot enjoy my work. So I just enjoyed for six months and now I'm bored again. And I'm feeling very depressed. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck in this Sarkari Nokri. I don't want to leave. My parents won't let me leave. My social circle wouldn't let me leave. And I don't know what to do outside. And I cannot enjoy my life either. I don't enjoy my work anymore. The salary is good, but it doesn't motivate me anymore. That will happen if you're asking the wrong questions. So your actual motivation should be, what is RBI? Who is RBI? Why? Does RBI exist? What does it do? And not only a one-liner, a detailed understanding. How is RBI? Kaisa hai vahaan ka work culture? Kaisi hai RBI ke andar life? What is NABARD? Who is NABARD? Why is NABARD? And how is NABARD? All these kinds of basic questions you have to ask yourself. And these are the right questions. You should be asking these questions once you start or before you start your preparation. Fortunately for RBI, there is a book, Functions and Working of RBI. And fortunately, I have also summarized this book in my own words. The summary of this book will be available to you very, very soon. I'm, I'm just finalizing the book, the summary of this book. And I will put it on my Telegram channel and group. Pe dal dunga. So I would recommend, please join that channel. So you will get some information there. You will not get the right information You will only get the right information there. I don't share free material for the simple reason that I don't want you to hold all this material. Okay, I don't want my material to reach every student, it doesn't matter. I just want it to reach all the serious aspirants, the achievers as I call them. And the summary of this book is going to be for achievers. So if you're a serious aspirant, if you want to understand about RPI before applying in it, before actually cracking it, before actually, you know, uh, becoming an achiever, I want you to understand what RPI is. How does it work? Why does it exist? What does it do? Who is RBI as an institution? It's a living being. It's a living being in itself, a legal living being. Okay. So this is our next mistake. We get into these kind of examinations, preparations without knowing about these organizations. We don't ask ourselves the right questions because we just want this 
and this fades away very very soon let's move forward the last one waiting for notification the worst mistake that lakhs of students make every year and even then lakhs of students keep making it without learning from the previous previous aspirants and without even learning from their own mistakes last year we made the same mistake kiya tha i waited for the notification it got too late i could not revise of course you would not be able to revise why because you just have a month after notification nobody can revise it's not human you have to be a superman to be able to do that and this year you're making the same mistake you're not learning from it so this is one of the most important yet one of the most repeated mistakes waiting for the notification let me tell you intezar ka phal bas pyar mein meetha hota hai exam mein nahi in english if you're waiting for someone in your life and you're in love then it can be fruitful but not an exam in exams if you wait too long wait too long in this case for the notification you will lose you will not win and your objective is to be a winner not a loser the first question that you might end up asking yourself is 2023 mein aayega pakka will it come that's your first question is that not students do ask me they do call me and they do ask me now 2022 cycle is not over and they are asking me will the will it happen in 2023 of course it will it happens every year it has been happening every year for the last 10 years okay and the same happens with nabard nabard notification is about to come out but you're still concerned about will it come is it certain as if if i say no it'll, it'll change your decision to prepare or not to prepare december ho gaya aaya nahi you kept waiting now it's december december 2022 for rbi and the notification is not out yet you know it was supposed to come somewhere in january february but in december you end up asking this question we all do this january aa gaya kab aayega notification now you are in january you know that the notification was supposed to be out in january february as i said january is here and you are expecting it to be out instead of preparing you concern about the notification even now and you're not even preparing properly and then you give up and then the notification comes and then you start your preparation again and then you lose so this is something that we often repeat all the time but we don't have to repeat it we don't have to make this mistake just if we know that we will make this mistake we cannot we can decide not to make the mistake okay so don't be concerned about the notification it will come you know it will come you know ki kuch bhi ho jayega covid bhi hoga to late hoga lekin aayega to zarur aayega there are vacancies in rbi it is expanding very fast now what is becoming a officer led organization it was it is converting all its staff into officers it is going to come out with its notification but even then instead of studying we keep waiting for the notification as if after the notification we are going to do something extraordinary and clear the examination right i think i'm right i think i'm not wrong so these are the mistakes that all of us make and we know that we are making these mistakes and yet we we keep keep making these mistakes so you can wait if you're in love there is nothing wrong about that but if you're waiting for an for an examination to happen when you know that it will happen and not preparing on time then you're doing something wrong okay i hope this session was useful i hope i am inspiring some of you to not make these mistakes and to make sure that you live a more fruitful more happy more successful life and you're able to clear your aspiring examination as soon as possible i'll see you very very soon with more sessions with more information about the examination with more tips on how to prepare for these examinations till then bye bye see you